As soon as you click on next, you will see this problem. So at the time of making this video, most of the people are facing this problem in order to install Windows 11. At the time of making this video, this problem arises. So let me show you how you can fix this problem. So for fixing this problem, you just need to close this window and then click on yes. And then you can once again close this window. Click on play virtual machine from here. Now, once you see this window, when you install Windows 11, at this point, you need to press Shift F10 key. Okay, so just press Shift and the F10 key together, which is going to open this command line, right? Once this command line opens, you need to type R-E-G-E-D-I-T, reg edit. I'm going to put each and every command in the description of this video so you can see which command you need to uh, give in order to follow this video, right? So just type reg edit here and then press enter, which is going to open this kind of window, which is called registry editor window. Now here in the H key local machine option, so just expand this option, you will be able to see system option. So just expand this also. And then you will be able to see setup option. So just expand this setup option also. Now on the setup, you just need to right click here and then click on new and then click on key here and then just name it as lab config. So just type L A B C O N F I G. Okay. So make sure your lab config looks similar to what I have typed with the capital L and capital C and then press enter, which is going to create this key for you. Now, once you have created this key, just click on this lab config key and on the right hand side, just right click here and then click on new and then select D word 32 value and name this value as bypass TPM check and make sure you spelled uh, the bypass TPM check as I have done with the capital B, T, P, M and C, right? And then press enter. Once this key is created, just right click on it once again and then click on modify. And here in the value data, you need to change it to one instead of zero here. Okay, so make sure that you enter value data is equal to one and then click on okay. Once this is done, right click on this uh, window once again and then new and then select diva 32 bit value once again. And this time we are going to name this value as bypass secure boot check. And then click on enter. Once this key is created, once again, we will modify this value and we will just give the data value to one and then click on okay, right? So basically we have created two values. One is bypass TPM check and other is bypass secure boot check and we have given the value one here in both uh, the keys, right? Basically what it's going to do is it's going to bypass the TPM check and the secure boot check. So once that's done, you can close this window and also you can close the command prompt and here you can start the installation process again. So you can choose the language to install time and currency format. You can also choose the keyboard input method. In my case, I'm going to choose here German and then click on next. And then I'm going to click on install. And in here you need to provide the product key. So I'm going to uh, just leave it as blank and then click on I don't have the product key. And then I'm going to choose Windows 11 Pro and then click on next. And now you can see it shows us this window, which means the warning which we were seeing is gone and now we can proceed with the installation of Windows 11 